So here we are at the Collage Center. The Collage Center is a place where you can come to create artwork that involves cutting and gluing. So when you come to the Collage Center, first thing you look at the sign. And the first thing you're going to do is choose a base to glue to. So if you're planning on making a large collage, you'll come down here to the bottom of this cabinet and find a color of paper that you would like to use for your base. If it's a smaller collage that you're making, you can select the paper from this paper rack that's a little smaller. And we even have a few other even smaller pieces tucked away into these plastic boxes. And we have some extra colors that didn't fit in the paper rack on the bottom shelf. After you've selected your base, the next step to creating your collage is finding or making shapes, pictures, colors, and textures. So to find shapes, you can come to the scrap boxes that are on the bottom of the paper cabinet and they're all organized by the colors that they contain. And I've added some new scrap boxes that don't really have anything in them yet. I have white, black, and brown on the bottom. So inside these boxes you'll find lots of interesting shapes of things that have already been cut out and decorated that you can use and there's also some solid colored construction paper. Also you can make your own shapes by coming over and finding the smaller paper. So we want to try to very hard not to waste paper. So if you're making smaller shapes for your collage you can just use this paper. I also have some newspaper scraps I'll be adding to this new newspaper scrap pile and newspaper is a wonderful material to use to draw on and so we have an example of a tree drawing done with a newspaper background great way to recycle and repurpose old newspaper you can also use our texture plates to create texture on papers that you're planning on using for a collage. Later in the year we will add uh, magazines and magazine pictures into the Collage Center. For now those are not um, available for use. So as we're moving on down, after you've collected your shapes and your colors that you want to work with, the next step is to arrange and rearrange. So I have an example over here that I'd like to show you. I have found that I'm using this pink paper for my base and I have found this wonderful piece of paper that has a hole cut out of it and I found that that would be an interesting design to use. So you'll take your shapes and move them around on your base and decide how they're going to fit together. You can take scissors and you can cut pieces away um, and after you kind of arrange something, step back and look at it. Does this look right? Mm, I don't know. I think maybe I might try this piece underneath. So let me move this. So that's how this works. It's just moving shapes around and deciding how they fit together. And then once you've found uh, an arrangement that you like, you can then begin to glue. So just still sort of shifting here. Oh yeah, I think I've found the arrangement that I like. So now that I have decided how I want it, I'm ready to glue. So I'll come over to my glue container and I'll grab a bottle of glue. And then we'll look back over here at the sign and see what it says about gluing. It says to first glue your background shapes, then your middle ground, then your foreground. So I'm going to walk over here 
And what that means is you will go ahead and take away the pieces that are kind of on top and begin to glue the things that are underneath down first. And when we're gluing, we want to always make sure that we put the glue on in dots. So remember with the glue bottles, you want to unscrew un, uh, the top at the top. And then after you've done that, you put the glue on in dots. And once you're finished gluing, you re you'll just close it back up. And sometimes you might have to use your rag to clean the glue off the top. And then this will go back where it belongs. Once you have completed your collage for the day, you will need to write your name and your class code in the top corner. And then you will take it to the drying rack with your grade level on it. So you'll walk over to the drying rack because it'll have wet glue on it. If it's a small piece that you've made, like I did on a small piece of paper, you'll want to grab one of these mats so that it doesn't fall through. And so let's say you're in third grade and you see the third grade drying rack. So your work would go in here and make sure that name is on there. Once it's dry, Mrs. Valentine will remove it from the drying rack and place it in the class box. So that's the collage station. And so for your first experience at the collage station, you are welcome to create a collage of your choice without doing the theme. So I hope you'll enjoy spending some time here at the Collage Center.